Welcome, Little Makers, for another story time with Miss Patty. Uh, today, we're going to continue reading these out of these world books that are absolutely amazing. And uh, today, I am going to start with a book called The Spacewalk. It is written by Brian Biggs. So um, one of the things that we learn about books before I start reading it is just the parts of a book, right? Um, so they're going to say, well, on the front cover is the title of the book, and you can find the author. And then the back cover usually has maybe a little blurb, which is information about a book or something special that they want to go ahead and say about the book. And these books come in a jacket. No, books are not cold, but their jacket protects them. So they last a much longer time in the library. And on the side of the jacket here is information about the book, like a summary of the book. And then when we open the book, the first page which we talk about is the title page. And on the title page, it is the name of the book again, the author's name, and the publisher's name. So we want to go ahead and say thank you to the publisher uh, for letting us read this book together. Uh, Dial Books, thank you so much. And then when we go ahead and go to the other side of the jacket, which is at the other side here, it talks about the author. So when you look at a book, you can always just look at the jacket. And right over here, you can see, read a little bit about it and see if you want to continue reading it. Well, this one, we definitely going to want to continue reading. So, ready? The spacewalk for our second book on the launch pad. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! The Spacewalk by Brian Biggs. Randolph Witherspoon was bored. He wanted to take a walk. Where is he looking through? Is it a spaceship, you think? Let's see. <gasps> yes, it is. I'm bored and I want to take a walk, Randolph complained to ground control back on Earth, requesting permission to go outside. He waited for a reply. Eat your lunch. Get some exercise and clean the place up a bit, ordered ground control. Then you can go outside. So Randolph ate some lunch. Mmm, Brussels sprouts. They're probably freeze-dried because in space they have some special food that comes in packages for the astronauts. Mmm, Brussels sprouts. They're so good for you. He got some exercise, ran on the treadmill, he cleaned the place up a bit. Clear for spacewalk, said ground control. Dress warmly. Don't forget your camera and be back before dinner. Roger that, said Randolph as he suited up. And one more thing came the voice from Earth. Don't talk to strangers. But Randolph was already out the door. Oh my goodness, look at what Randolph saw. He saw the planet. Which one is this one? The one with the rings around it. Did you guess Saturn? Yes, he saw Saturn. That was one of the first ones and the biggest one in that area. Wow, how beautiful. Look at his eyes. He was amazed at what beauty he was seeing in his galaxy. Our galaxy, right? And look at him pointing to the constellations. There are 88 constellations and they're patterns that have names and they have stories that have been told for many, many, many years. There's Leo the Lion, the Big Dipper, the Little Dipper. There's Orion, the Hunter. There's so many of them. And so he saw a comet going by, and it would just so happen he brought his camera with him. But behind him, what's it back there? <gasps> Is that an alien? Oh my goodness, I don't think he knows. It's back there. 
all of a sudden he turned around and was so surprised. I think both of them were really surprised. And he took his camera, of course, and took a picture. Now, as you could see as I'm reading this book, this one is called a wordless book. So you can see on the bottom, there are no words. So you're the one that fills in the words. It is your imagination that goes ahead and makes the book. You are a writer in a wordless book. So everybody that sees this writes it differently. It's a lot of fun. I love wordless books. So this is a combination, right? At the beginning, it had some words and then now it does it. We can fill in everything the way we see it. How about this one? What would you say this one says? He kind of was a little scared. And then he was way up here with the big eyes. So he kind of was looking at him saying, hello, hello, I want to be your friend. And then all of a sudden he saw something pop out of the alien's head. And what could it be? I wonder, what do you think it is? Oh my goodness, it is a camera. It looks, well, it looks like a light. And it's a big light that shoots a flash, a big flash on him. I think it may be a camera. What do you think? Uh-oh, he was looking for his camera. But thank goodness he had it on a string so it wouldn't go ahead and float away because there's no gravity in space. So it, it, was, it did not float away, thank goodness. Yay, he found his camera. And I think the alien was really happy too that he had his camera. So what happens with two friends with cameras? They start taking selfies together and they start taking all kinds of pictures. He takes his camera out. Randolph takes his camera out. He does an upside down shot. I like that one. I wish I could do that. That looks like fun. And then all of a sudden he looks at his watch. He's like, hmm, I think it's time for me to go. I got to play a little while, but I got to go back to my station, back to my home in space. Gave the alien a big giant hug. He found a friend out in space. Bye. Bye. See you soon. So it's still wordless. We're still writing it ourselves. And now the words come up again. And it says, Spacewalk complete, said Randolph as he returned to the ship. You're late, ground control replied. Write your report, eat some dinner, and get some sleep. Then can I go out again, asked Randolph. We'll see in the morning, replied ground control. So Randolph wrote his report. He had a lot to report about his day, right? He ate his dinner. This time he was having meatballs and he was able to go ahead and be upside down and the meatballs go ahead and float right into his mouth. <laughs> he was playing a game, a meatball eating game. And then he got into his sleeping bag, how comfy. And right before he went to sleep, he took a peek out at his wall and look what he had. He had all these beautiful pictures with his alien friend that he had taken during the day and he couldn't wait for tomorrow. And what happened tomorrow or the next day? I mean, this one, he went ahead and took more pictures with more friends. And now he has a whole host of friends out in space. I love this book. The end. Now, if you have a chance, you can go ahead and take a picture with your robot friend um, that I went ahead and I put the video on for you to make your very own robot friend and uh, maybe make two friends and then take a picture with them and send them on Facebook. That would be great.